I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. I love it! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend I'm in Salt Lake City tackling a weekender first, a gaming studio. The homeowner is Stacy of Stacy Plays YouTube channel. It's a gaming channel with over a million subscribers. She's a gamer that primarily focuses on Minecraft, but she creates stories and worlds and her followers get to watch her play. And this weekend, I'm gonna be renovating the space where she makes all of her videos. So I need to design a room that she loves, but also that her viewers are totally gonna fall in love with too. I started playing Minecraft in 2013 as just a hobby, and it kind of grew into something else. I'm hoping that Monica incorporates in the studio space Minecraft, but in a subtle type of a way. I hope that it's somewhere that I can bring my dogs and my cat, and I just want something that is really organized where I can manage all of the stuff that comes my way. So I'm a little anxious to see how all of that stuff comes together. So tell me a little bit more about your job. Uh, I play video games on YouTube. So that's your job. <laughs> that's my job. I mostly play Minecraft, um, but really anything that has to do with animals or nature. Sometimes I unbox things with my cat. A company will send you something and you open it and kind of talk to your audience while you're doing it. Yeah, like I guess a little bit maybe product review. I think I have every Minecraft toy that's ever been made. <laughs> so you started doing this a couple years ago, like four years ago, and just as like a hobby, and then it exploded? Yeah, I had a whole other job in Los Angeles, and I ended up playing Minecraft. I hadn't played video games since I was a kid. Um, and people started watching my videos. So this space is gonna be where you wanna shoot all these videos, right? The unboxing, the gaming videos. Um, I just wanted to do something really cool in here, but the reality is I post a game video every single day. So you're very busy. Very busy, and there just hasn't been any time to actually like renovate the room. I'm usually just making videos, replying to fan mail. Speaking of fan mail, is this all fan mail. It's a little bit of a problem. I mean, it's a problem I would love to have. Look I got at this. a little overwhelmed, and the goal was to film it in here, but okay. I just haven't gotten the room ready. I'm, I'm good at building in Minecraft, but not in real life. All right, well, I'm pretty good at building in real life, okay. not so much in Minecraft. Good. So hopefully, we can create something that represents that world here in the real world. <laughs> that would be amazing to see. Any Minecraft gamers out there? My kids love Minecraft. If you do too, leave me a comment and let me know. All right, ready to start this transformation? I am. Good. I'm excited. Paint's one of the fastest and easiest ways to transform a space, and it's the first step in this total makeover. Any colors you love or hate? Oh, oh I maybe don't answer that. Okay. Because I already bought the paint. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. You actually do look nervous. I'm a little nervous. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> green! It's green. Oh my gosh. We're gonna think? match the room. We are. I was like, that's what I said. So like, based on our wardrobe choices today, I think you're gonna like it. I love it. It's um, it's super Minecrafty. You said you love nature and outdoorsy things, so I yeah. thought we're bringing the outdoors in. We want this to feel like a world in here. I love it. So this is the first step of what we're doing to the walls in here. We're gonna paint them first, and then I have a little something else coming for you. Most times I opt to lighten spaces with paint, but I chose to go darker in this room to add some drama and make it feel a lot more like an outdoor space. So we're doing all four walls this green color, but I know that this is the most important wall for you because when you're doing your video, Videos, you want the natural light and this will be your primary backdrop. So I couldn't just paint it green. So okay. we have something pretty epic that we'll be adding later. Okay. This is just project one of five, don't forget. <laughs> All right. All right, long pieces here. Let's 
kind of lay these out. Okay. All right, I mentioned this is gonna be phase two of what we're doing to the walls. All right. Okay. We've got some nice wood here. We're gonna add a wood element to the room. Oh, I like that. That's very Minecrafty. And we're actually going to stain this wood, okay, only on the face and the little edges. We don't need the underside, okay? okay? And after that, we're gonna make some cuts because this is actually gonna be used as an accent on three of the green walls. What? Yeah. Not all over, so I'll show you when we get back up in the room, but it's gonna be accented over the green. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First things first, we need to up the style game on this lumber so it coordinates with our green paint. We're doing that with a walnut brown stain. All right, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think of the stain? I really like it. You do? Yeah, I'm also very proud that I didn't get any on my shirt. Seriously, white <laughs> shirt was a bold move today, but good work so I didn't far. know what we were doing. That is true, that is true. <laughs> um, it's like the perfect temperature out here, so these are drying really quickly. Okay. So we're gonna make some cuts, and then we're gonna take all the wood that's stained and cut up in the room, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. Okay, can't wait. Okay. Matt and I pre-measured a bunch of cuts for this wall treatment. Stacy still has no idea what I have planned to do with them, and I kinda love keeping secrets. It makes it so much more fun. All right, that should be plenty to get us started, so let's stack these up, and we'll take them into the room. I got it. You got it? I got it. All right. Oh, I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start, I'm assuming, with the smallest one. And we're, we're gonna work down in that corner, work our way up. Okay. okay, is any of the green gonna show? Yes, you're still gonna see a lot of green. Oh, I okay. promised you in like one minute, you're, this is all gonna make sense. Okay. This is gonna be an easy <laughs> process. Minecraft is all about creating with blocks, or so my kids tell me, and that inspired me to put my own little twist on a traditional square wall grid. Great. Okay, step back. What do you think? It's really cool. It looks good? Yeah, I like it. So this is gonna continue around on these walls too, but first I wanna show you what the little pieces do because that's really gonna bring the design home. Okay. Right? I love it. You happy? It. Yeah, it's like kind of like subtle Minecraft. Yeah. Matt, you liking it? Super crafty. Super crafty. <laughs> All we have to do for today is finish this same pattern on these two walls and then we'll be done for the day. Okay. It was a good first day. So we have all of our pieces in place now. <laughs> pieces for what? Pieces for what? Good question. This is a closet kit. Okay. A, like a closet organizer. Yeah. And although you don't have many clothes in here, it's gonna right. be a studio. We're gonna use this and modify it to be your mail station. Awesome. So my thought is that shoe rack, oh, perfect for letters and mail totally. and sorting. And instead of having our upper shelves, we're gonna lower these and make them like a counter height so that you can put packages on them. So you're gonna have tons of storage, tons of organization, and it will look really nice with everything else we're doing in the room. Perfect. Think it's gonna work out? I need it, yes. Cool. <laughs> Before we install the closet unit, we just need to remove the existing shelf inside the closet. Should be easy peasy. Got it? No problem at all. There we got it. All right. Can you twist it? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks exactly how I wanted that to happen. <laughs> we can repair that. Oh yeah. We'll do a few paint touch-ups when we're done. Sounds good. <laughs> Demo is always messy, okay? <laughs> hold on, got it, got it, got okay. it, got it, got okay. it. This is stupid. Hold on, right, hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on. on. Look at you go. I think we got it. She's like, I got this. Got it. This is going to be the perfect mail storage solution. I love thinking of unique ways to use typical items like these closet units. What kind of stuff have you found different or creative uses for? Leave me a comment below and let me know. We are gonna retrofit this a bit to really meet your needs because you're not gonna be using clothes in here, it's gonna be a mail station. So these larger shelves, instead of it being up here, we're gonna have it counter height down here. It's not intended to be put at that height. So this is just actually the same wood that we used yesterday for the one by fours. And I'm gonna put this across the whole back 
to act as a ledger board so that this sits on something securely. <laughs> So do you think this is going to give you a lot more storage and organization? Way more than I had. It's perfect, yeah. yeah. And then once this is all put in together, I'll have Matt kind of finish up some things. All of it will be painted. It's really going to look like a nice custom built-in piece. But really, we're using a lot of prefab pieces. So easy. All right, so I asked you to bring out a little bit of your fan mail artwork because yeah. we're going to work on a project that kind of is an extension of what we just created. Okay. Now we have that all organized. What I want to do is create a place that we can display it. Okay. Oh, awesome. Some of specifically the artwork. Yeah. Types, okay. So we're just going to use one by two lumber to do this. It's going to be really simple. It'll kind of have a bit of a modern look to it, but we need to make a few cuts on the chop saw, which you're already familiar with. This build couldn't be easier. We're using one by two lumber to create a simple but sleek grid pattern. So now the key with the screws here is just to make sure that they're the perfect length so that they can go through the pieces but not pop out in the front. All right, so now that it's assembled, you can see that it has a cool grid, right? Yeah. And then we are going to be adding some twine. We're gonna use a staple gun. And then you take your fan mail, and it can clip right on. Cute. Cute, right? Yeah. And then I feel like it's a cool way that, you know, I'm hoping that your fans and stuff will be excited if they get to make it to the display wall. Yeah, I'll like change it out in between videos and... Yeah, that could yeah. be great. Cool project, right? Yeah, it's really cute. I'm counting on the day for me when I start getting fan mail. Any day. Any day it's now. It's coming. It's coming. It's probably the post office. It probably like got they're... lost in the mail, yeah, right? I think totally. so. Totally. Our last big project is top secret. It's the backdrop wall that Stacy's viewers will see behind her when she films her videos, so it's gotta be epic. I came up with a whimsical tree fort idea that I think she and her viewers will love. So these look awesome in the room, but honestly, the main purpose in creating these amazing tree forts was thinking about the background. Stacy's desk is gonna be kind of here in the middle of the room, and when her camera is on, this is gonna be the epic background now. And it's just so cool that the background where she games kinda has the same cool vibe as the worlds that she's created in Minecraft. I have one more addition for this, and it's pretty epic. We're gonna create a cat bridge for Stacy's cat. She mentioned that her followers and fans absolutely love seeing her pets on camera, so we thought it would be so cool to create a bridge going across from the two tree forts that the cat can just chill out on all day. Building this cat bridge is really simple. Again, we're using cedar boards, and what we're doing is attaching it to rope using tiny little screws. The screws go through the rope and into the board, holding it securely, but this is the underside of the bridge. All right, so we have it built, now we're gonna install it. The easiest way to install this, we decided, is actually to tie the rope onto this crossbeam two by four. Matt, you ever built a cat bridge before? I've burnt a few cat bridges before. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> All right, so we have one epic cat bridge. I think that Stacy's gonna be really excited about this and excited that we incorporated her pets into one of our design plans. And honestly, I think this backdrop is gonna be so cool for all of her videos. Good work. Awkward high five. <laughs>this room has finally come together and I am loving it. I think it's a really great blend of the outdoors and has a cool like clubhouse vibe. I think Stacy's gonna love it and I actually think her fans are gonna think it's super cool too. You can open your eyes and check it out. One, two, three. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! So that is a cat bridge. Yay! So I was thinking that not only are these awesome looking, but also they can be functional. So your cat can jump up and then be sitting there. So when you're filming, you can have the cat in there and I just thought it would be really cool. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna tear that up. This is incredible. Oh my gosh! Oh look at that, so cute! <laughs> Your fans are so talented. I'm very lucky, yes.
they are. I really liked how it looked out here, and I thought when you're sitting here working, you can be totally. Seeing it. Yeah. For those like late nights editing, it'll give me the the motivation to stay awake. Do it for the fans. Totally. I want to see the built-in. I know. How about the mail station? It looks so good. So I was thinking through the functionality, and so when we put that counter there, we made it high enough that the cart can fit in, so when you get the mail, you bring it in in the cart, and then you sort it into your different areas. That's so perfect. Oh, oh my gosh, I just saw the lights! <laughs> it's crazy how we added so much color and dark wood, and yet it's still like so much brighter in here, yeah. and, and perfect for filming. It was really cool to kind of channel my inner kid and think about like what would be the ultimate clubhouse, but also at the same time a sophisticated take on Minecraft. So hopefully I got both of those. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, Thank you so much. <laughs> I've got to get the animals in here and see if they like it. See how they like it. Too. Yeah. Look, I made you a bridge. Hey, buddy, you want to go in? Come on. <laughs> what do you think? That's awesome. He's a little unsure, but overall I'd say really big fan. Yeah, yeah, he's getting used to it. I would say it's a successful weekender. It was, thank you so much. Oh, you are welcome, this was really fun. It's not every day I get to build like a tree <laughs> fort and a clubhouse. <laughs> like this app? Then be sure to let me know by clicking like below. And make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss a single weekender episode. And this is actually part of season three, which means you have two full seasons that you can go back and binge watch in just a weekend. This weekend, I'm in the Roxborough neighborhood of Philadelphia, helping out some homeowners with a third floor attic space. And this space is kind of like a time capsule. It hasn't been touched in 50 years. Open your eyes. Oh my God! 